we uh, kind of a neat thing Brett got um, Brett got us a pretty good deal here so basically this tenant moved out early Ooh, they shouldn't do that to the air conditioner crap I gotta turn stand that back up um, tenant moved out early um, and left behind uh, don't see all the monitors though yep, they still took all the monitors that stinks um, but they left behind all this stuff check out how ridiculous these desks are the monitors attached to the desk and they all raise and lower there's like eight of them and uh, this is their old the closet that I hooked up uh, quite a while ago um, they vented their air conditioner right here but then had ceiling tiles missing they just vented it, it was just like a, probably ran forever um, they had Verizon fiber and then they had two circuits from us back up I guess um, oh well why they wanted the two um, but uh, I don't know they took left all the monitors I thought there was like 30 monitors that sucks All monitor stands, air conditioner, couple monitors. They still took them. That's stupid. Um, but I'm going to disassemble this rack. We're going to be using this for our uh, new routers that we got. Uh, little bubbles. They took all the monitors. They left this nice uh, 4K screen though. Why did they need? Oh, they're H Cat Six HDMI cables. They were converting. It was like I've never seen. Got three, four, five, six, seven Cat Fives to your television. That's a way to do it. No, well, let me call Brett and I'll uh, bitch at him. Well, not bitch at him, but let him know the bad news. Oh, never mind. Here they are. They bubble wrapped them. These are all monitors bubble wrapped. Cool. Cool, cool, cool. Um, we're gonna be removing, uh, opening up these big batteries and I'm gonna get the replacements uh, for them. I think I got the covers to that somewhere. There's another battery, the UPS 1000. I didn't even know where that one came from. Uh, but. We're going to get this thing light. I'm going to then re roll her on down uh, to the basement. Kirk's going to build me a new room uh, in the basement, which is fun. And uh, maybe we open up some of these computers and see if they're worth anything. There's a ton, a ton, a ton of stuff. Net gear. They took the Fortinet stuff. And they took their uh, oh cool there are these Ooh, poe all right cool this will be you can we can use these in the new office I think it's layer three too all right. Go ahead and start moving stuff to the basement. Cool. We got uh, Andrew over there. I think it's Andrew. Yeah, it's Andrew. And uh, we're pulling uh, 2,500 feet today. And pretty much what we got today is we're going to be coming out of our pop, which is in this building runs underneath this driveway to these two boxes right here we got our 96 count set up in the alley on a reel and uh, we got 2,000 feet pulled off here uh, 2,000 feet pulled off and in the ground so I'd, I've never 
I've only been here. I don't know where the end of this run is yet. Ooh, it's a uh, it's a toaster out here. So I'm at roughly 2,500 feet on the pole, and uh, we're just tying some stuff together. We're gonna try to pull from this box all the way down this alley in one shot. There's three boxes, but they go straight through, straight through, straight through. So um, I'm gonna kind of talk about what we are doing here. So basically every time we get to a new box, we are uh, cutting the mule tape and we're tying it, uh, tying together a knot there. And I'll show you, um, uh, well, maybe I won't, but pretty well the best, uh, best knot um, to accomplish this is I don't know what it's called I think it's called a sheep shank but assume that's the uh, fiber um, pretty much what I'm doing is I'm making a knot like that so as we pull it's tightening up the entire time and what we'll do is we'll put um, we'll put three of those on here and they crisscross so the more you pull yep so see how I got that the more you pull, the tighter it becomes. It's almost like the electrical tape is not even doing a whole lot. Um, then, every time we get to a new box, we just cut mule tape and we put new mule tape on. That way, we never need to come back through here and pull some more cables and whatnot. Um, we'll be able to, uh, to do that. So, we're back at the reel. We're at 6,500 feet or something like that. And, and right here on the cable, I'm at 9,202 feet so we know what our measurements are and if I get some time we'll probably shoot the uh, the OTDR um, uh, this is not going to ever get a splice this is just so that we can turn corners and continue going if we need to like if we want to go that way so oh, I'm dying I uh I'm pretty damn lightheaded um so we are back now inside like downtown area. Um, and uh, so we built boxes out all the other side of town. But inside town we have a conduit share agreement with the city. And I wanted to take a look at, at this, just to take a break for a minute. But look how freaking gnarly this is. So we pulled a 96 through here, but we got a 288 ribbon and uh, Comcast has a 48 and a 24. Maryland Broadband's in here. Verizon's the 288 is Verizon. And uh, yeah, what a mess. I don't even know what this is. Is this some kind of fiber? I guess it is. I'm not gonna, I'm just gonna put it down at the bottom. That's a strange fiber to pull. You see how it does But, uh, yeah, let's go ahead and see if we can't get this all fit in this box.